Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a quick step-by-step -step video. I am going to show you how to download and import files that you receive from me in an email. If you're new here, my name is Sandy Cruz, and I create videos and products, all things I. That's anything that you can do on your iPad that you used to do on paper. If this sounds fascinating to you, be sure and subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll be notified when I have new I stuff to share with you. Okay, we're going to jump right in. I'm going to take you over to my email. I've sent myself a test email. This is the actual email that you're going to get to when you receive your free faith journal. And here's all the downloads that come in this email. You've got step-by-step -step instructions, how to download and import the files that are included in this email. And then I've also included a link to the faith journal tour. In case you haven't watched that yet, I suggest you do because I show you all the neat things you can do with the new free faith journal. Okay, so if you are using GoodNotes, these are the only files that you really need to download. These will download and import right into GoodNotes and you can start using them ASAP. If you are using a tablet or if you're using an app other than GoodNotes, then you'll want to download the PDF and the PNG sticker files. All right, so very quickly, let's just run through getting the GoodNotes files to GoodNotes. And the steps are the same for every one of these files. So it doesn't matter if you're downloading the stickers or the covers or the journal, you're gonna follow these same steps for all three of these downloads. All right, so let me go ahead and tap the GoodNotes file. All right, so this is the next window that appears once I tap that link. And I'm going to go ahead and select Download. And here you could see it's downloading. And when the arrow jumps, then you know the download is complete. So where did it download? Where did it go? So I'm going to show you that next, all right? And I keep that folder in here. So all of the iPads comes with... In, included in the iOS is an app called Files. This is an actual app. And so I keep it in another folder that's called Storage where I keep my Google Drive stuff and my Dropbox. And then I also keep my Files here, my Files app. So let me just tap that and show you what that looks like. And so it actually opened up to my Files app I already had the stickers open in it and that's why it looked like that and then plus I was using my multitasking side-by-side -side windows okay so when you open that folder this is what you're going to see on the left sidebar you won't see this until you import this but this is the next step okay so downloads you downloaded a file it went to a folder called downloads and this is where it's going to be located in this files app lineup okay as you can see from here I can get to my cloud drive I can get to my google drive my dropbox and then I can also get to my downloads folder and it's favorited in my app so let me go ahead and tap downloads and I want to look for the most recent file let's see today today I think it's this one right here yes I'm looking at the times since I can't see the whole file name I have to look at the date and the time that it was downloaded so I this is the this was the most latest most recent file that I downloaded so I'm going to go ahead and tap that one and the reason that I'm going to tap it is because the downloads folder automatically is going to unzip that for me with just a tap and it already opened up a folder it's unzipped now so I'm going to go into that folder and here's my GoodNotes file it says zipped because the iPad has trouble reading GoodNotes um, Maybe at some point in the future, it will say Good Notes here or GN or something like that. But this is how the iPad is reading this file, but it isn't zipped. It's already unzipped. So all I have to do now is tap on it. 
And then I'm going to go to the share icon up here in the upper right. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to open it in GoodNotes. And then I have an option to import to the current document, which I don't want to do, or import it as a new document. And when I tap to import as a new document, it asks me where. So I could either create a new folder or I can bring it into an existing folder. And I'm going to bring it into my testing folder so that it doesn't mix with my other stuff that I have on my iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and import to testing A. And once it imports it, it's going to go ahead and open it for me as well. And there's my file. It's going to take it just a second to populate. All right, so let me go to the index just so I can scroll. Yep, it's all here. So that's all there is to it. It's the same process for the covers and the stickers. You'll do the very same thing. All right, let me go ahead and close this and go back to my email. You'll also import, if you want to import the PDF to your GoodNotes, you'll do the same thing with the PDF. So those steps, you'll follow those same exact steps. However, the PDF does not have the covers included in it. So let's see. So see, you can see here, I've already added the covers for you in the GoodNotes file but the PDF does not have the covers included. The reason that I don't include them in the PDF is because when the PDF renders with the covers, the covers are a, a raster file, it's, they're pixelated. And for some reason, the PDF kind of makes them blurry. They're not very pretty. So if you're going to use the PDF, whether you're on another app other than GoodNotes or whether you're on your tablet, you're going to want to add these covers separately. And that's why I've included them separately as PNGs so that you can, when you get to the app that you want to use the journal and you've imported the PDF, then you can go to the PNG and add them yourself inside your app. I hope that makes sense. Okay, now I wanna also show you how to download and import the PNGs in case you want to store them in Dropbox and you don't want to be using them inside GoodNotes. One of the things that I like about having them in Dropbox is that I can drag and drop them to my journal from using a side-by-side -side window straight from Dropbox. So let me show you how to do that real quick. And again, this is on the iPad. This isn't going to help anyone that is using a tablet. But regardless of what app you're using, if you're on an iPad, these are going to be the same steps. Okay, so let me do, let's see, I'll do the cut, I'll do the stickers again. All right, so naturally it brings me to a window inside my browser and I'm gonna say download. And here it's downloading. And of course, where did it download? Let's go to that folders app or files app. And here we are again, I'm gonna open up the downloads folder and I'm gonna look for the most current download. So it will be this one right here, 249. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tap that one and it unzipped it right away. And I'll go inside there and I'll open the folder and there are my stickers. And I can use them right from this folder if I want to, but I don't want my downloads folder to get full. So I'm gonna actually move this. So in order to do that, I'm gonna hit select. Oh wait, I need to back up. All right, I'm gonna hit select and I'm gonna select that folder. And what I wanna do is come down here and tell it that I wanna move this folder. And I have a test folder here already that I've added stickers to. So I'm gonna back out of that because I want to show you right from my Dropbox. And you can also, you can add this to your Google Drive or your Cloud Drive. This isn't, I use Dropbox mostly, but you can also move this to whatever location that you have installed on your iPad. For me, my, my choice is always Dropbox. 
All right, so I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this folder test number two. And I'm going to say done. And now I'm going to open that folder. All right, this folder is empty, but I'm going to hit copy. And it's adding that folder right now to, it's adding the stickers to this folder. All right, now we're ready. All right, so now they're in my Dropbox. I've created a folder for them. They're downloaded. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you why I like to keep my PNG files. And so for that, I'm going to go ahead and open my faith journal. I'll just tap on the February icon and let's add some stickers to this page. And I'm going to make my journal a little bit bigger. All right, so what I'm going to do is with my finger, you can do this with your pencil as well. I'm just going to press, hold, and drag that over to my journal and resize it. And there, it's done. Let's do one more. Um, and by the way, uh, these stickers I've already included in a GoodNotes file, and I have sized them for you. So let's say I want to add the first of the month to this monthly layout. You see how big that comes in. So every one that I bring in, every PNG that I bring in, I'm going to have to resize. And I've already done this for you. I've taken that time already. And what, what you see me doing right now is what I've already done with the GoodNotes file. So, and I did it with all 31 days. Um, so you can go ahead and set your journal up using the GoodNotes files. But like I said, unfortunately, if you're not using GoodNotes, or if you're using a tablet, you'll have to do the work, sorry. Um, one other thing I wanna point out real quick here, I really love these stickers because they fit in the corners of the days so perfectly. So let me just show you how that works. I actually, I think I showed this in the Free Faith Journal Tour, but just in case, you haven't watched that yet. All right, so see how see how cute they just fit just perfectly into that corner. Okay, so that is it for this little tutorial. I just wanted to include it with the email that I send you with all the downloads in it. I didn't want anybody to look at all six of those downloads and get overwhelmed. So in watching this first, it probably helped calm the atmosphere a little bit for you. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this video and until the next one, you have an outstanding day. Bye.